Time is destroyed in Justice League issue 15. In the present, a white wave washes over Gotham as Batman arrives at the Infinity Corporation's building in Metropolis. Meeting with Superman, Batman tells him that he must come inside the building at once. As they move inside, the white wave washes over Lois and John at the gas station across the road from them, alerting Superman. But Batman tells him to trust him that they are fine and safe and will be back to normal soon. The wave hits the building as Superman hopes Batman is right, because if he isn't, he's going to have to answer to it. Elsewhere, Aquaman awakens in front of a risen Atlantis, where he is told that he will answer to the thrones of Atlantis. The day before, the Justice League signs Superman and Batman arrive at the UN building, looking to explain their actions during the Eclipso event recently. The building is suddenly attacked by a large group of aliens. Elsewhere, Wonder Woman awakens in front of Cronus, who is in the process of consuming his children. Pulled behind some rocks, Diana meets Rhea and Zeus, who vows revenge against his deranged father. Back in the UN building, the aliens attack the Flash and the girl Molly, who tried to warn the League about the attack. Barry is slowed thanks to a temporal grenade, and Molly says that once his speed comes back, she will need Barry to put some time bracelets on all of the League members, which will help them reconstruct time. She tells Barry that the aliens are called the Timeless and are a religious movement which believe that meta powers shouldn't exist on Earth since they deem them too dangerous. At the Infinity Corporation's building, Batman and Superman meet with Alexis, Jane, and Vincent, who tell them someone is changing time and they don't know why. Waking in the 31st century, Cyborg meets with Brainiac 5, who is very well aware that he isn't from this century, thanks to his very dated technology. Elsewhere, Simon and Jessica wake up in a completely destroyed city. Jessica uses her ring to discover that they are in the 26th century, and that is when the Earth Lantern Corps arrive, demanding that they surrender for using the Green Lantern light. Gaining his speed back, Barry puts the bracelets on all the other leaguers, but he himself wakes up in Central City the day he received his powers. Elsewhere, the League arrive at the Timeless Base, which is essentially one big time bomb. Molly tells them that they will need to destroy this to stop the time waves from happening. Back in the Infinity Corp building, Superman and Batman discover that they are now in space, thanks to the time waves. Looking out, they find that Earth has been covered with the timeless ships and buildings. So yeah, this was kind of a weird beginning to a story, and not really its content, but more how Brian Hitch decided to tell it, with you know cuts back and forth to different time periods with different characters. It wouldn't really surprise me if people did get confused at this one, and I imagine there will be quite some confusion with people, and even I got a little confused at parts since of how the story was told, and there weren't really that many uh, little subtitles to tell you when this was happening or where it was happening. There were a couple here and there, but not really that many. I do wonder though that due to the nature of the story of time travel and whatnot, whether they will actually touch on Dr. Manhattan taking 10 years of time or, you know, provide some hints at it like maybe the Timeless knows something's going on so this is why they're actually doing this. Uh, the Also, the inclusion of the 31st century and Brainiac 5 appearing was actually really cool and obviously we know there's something going to be happening with the Legion very soon with uh, satin girl trapped in the current 21st century so I'm really intrigued to see what they're going to do with that and what fun they can have with that with a legion of superheroes and everything. I'm going to give this issue a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.